Hi everyone, welcome back to Feb's Kitchen and thank you for your support on this channel. If you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and also get to enjoy more of the recipes. So today I'm, I'm going to show you how I cook one of my favorite meals. It's stir-fried carrot and gorgets, stir-fried beef and my favorite sauce. So I'm going to start by making the beef since I need to marinate it. For marination, I need beef, salt, cooking oil, soy sauce, lemon, ginger and garlic paste, and curry powder, and paprika. I'm beginning by adding salt. Then add paprika and then curry powder. There's no order anyway, so you can just decide to add any order you want. As long as you add them, then mix. Mix them together. And then I'm adding ginger and garlic. But you can decide to add everything and then mix. Next, I'm going to add the lemon lemon juice this is to tenderize the meat yeah because i'm going to marinate it so and add soy sauce just a little bit of soy sauce and then cooking oil then mix everything together after mixing i will let it sit for one hour and then cook it on a slow heat slow cook it yeah like this cook it while covering here is after some time the water has... i'm just here trying to fry it add a little bit of oil and then cook it for some time just uh, two minutes yeah like two minutes then after that you will add onions and these ones you'll also need to cook them until like you don't want them golden brown you just cook them until they are slightly cooked so just cover the heat is still on low so after covering they are now translucent see how beautiful they are so beautiful so next i'm going to add the coriander this coriander has been here for like um, a week and they are still fresh except for some part that are have started turning black but generally they are still fresh and so good so you just cover it and turn off the heat and keep it aside next i'm going to prepare carrots and gorgets yeah so here they are this one has, has also been here for like a week and they are still good so i'm just starting by peeling off the carrots making them cutting the extra parts that i don't need and then peeling every part of it With the gorgets, I'm just going to cut the ends and then, yeah, put it aside. Next, I'm going to wash them, wash them and cut them. You can cut them in any shape that you want, but me, I love my, I love mine um, stripped, so you can cut any shape there's no particular shape that's recommended but i just love mine like this so i'm cutting them into bits such that when i cook them and i can just dip them in the sauce and enjoy it yeah that's why i, I prefer cutting them like this because i dip them in the sauce and eat them
when this is ready i'll just sit and cook it later next i'm going to cook rice uh, so i need a one cup of rice cooking oil salt and also water and uh, cumin seeds so i don't know if that's the name but yeah whatever your english teacher is anyways cumin seeds that is it so wash your rice well then add cu add cumin seed and oil and let it fry for just one minute for the aroma and then after that you will add the washed rice and mix well At this point, add water. For every one cup of rice, add two cups of water. And since I'm not going to cover it be for the fa for the first few minutes that's going to cook, I'm going to add a little bit of water just to cover for the one that is going to evaporate. Yeah. I don't cover it as it starts to cook because when you cook it like it over spills most of the time so that's why I'll cover it later then add salt and mix well so now it has been cooking and it's at this moment that I'm going to cover it and let it sit until the water simmers look how it is it has cooked so well and I think it's so delicious so just cover it as I prepare more food so at this moment I'm going to fry the carrots and gorget and gorgets you just want to add a little bit of oil to oil the pan because the vegetable will cook with its water just look how beautiful these vegetables are so beautiful and the colors mm -mm. so I'm going to add salt yeah, but you can skip the salt if you don't want but I like mine with salt so that's why I'm adding just small amount of salt then stir it After mixing the veggies, I will cover them and let them cook on a low heat because it will cook with the, its water. Yeah. So this is after some time. See how they are cooked? They are cooked, but they are also crunchy. Yeah, the carrot is so sweet mm. and crunchy. Next, I'm going to make the sauce and what I need is tomatoes, onions. These are the tomatoes that are also great blended and frozen. So first you start by frying the onions. And as the onions fry, I'm going to, to grate the tomatoes because I had found that I only have one blended tomato and I need them soft in the sauce. Yeah, that's why I'm grating them. I'm grating all of them just to have uh, smaller bits of tomatoes. Now it's time to add paprika, just a little bit, give it a quick stir, and then add curry powder. I'm sorry for my camera, it couldn't settle on one place. <laughs> anyway, hope you get it. So, add 
tomatoes these ones are the ones i've just grated them and then the other one that i had i had blended yeah i'm going i'm also going to add it because i want my sauce thick and more i added a little salt because i want to add the roiko cube so roiko cube has has salt too so that's why i didn't want to add more salt to my my sauce so I just crush this roiko cube onto it and then stir now it's ready but since i'm the only one who loves chili i'll remove some of the sauce for the other people who don't like chili and then add chili to mine yeah because i just love chili so much i am using green chilies that i had blended with the green bell pepper that is pilipili hoho and coriander and then yeah just blended them and frozen them yeah so here i am just stirring stirring it until it's cooked well and when it's ready it's now time to serve you want your meal to be served in a like a, you got you want to get that five star experience at the comfort of your house so i prefer just to put the the rice inside this tin to give it a shape yeah this shape then i place it there <laughs> and then add my vegetables yeah so the veggies so add them next i'm placing this i'd place the sauce there with another dish and then add just want to give them a nice presentation and here it is the food is ready delicious colorful and looks so yummy so this has been this is the end of this video so if you love this video please like it and also if you have not subscribed please subscribe and let's meet in another video and thank you so much bye